A man's obsession towards the owner of a lost phone puts his life in danger. After having fun at a beach, Marion notices the time and says she has to go, saying her dad is about to get home. Her new boyfriend, Gaspar, offers to accompany her, and they quickly gather their things as their friends, Ludo and Jan, are puzzled by their sudden departure. As they leave, Marion pulls Gaspar into a changing room while Jan looks for them. When he's gone, they kiss, but a phone suddenly rings. Marion answers, and the caller introduces himself as Dragon, saying he wants to hear Sam's voice, and quickly hangs up. Curious, Marion inspects the phone's pictures for whom Sam could be, then she gives it to Gaspar for safekeeping. Soon, they arrive at Marion's place with her dad already home, so she kisses her boyfriend before hurrying inside. Later at home, Gaspar is on a video call with his friends, during which Ludo pries into the details of his disappearance with Marion, but is ignored. However, when asked if he loves Marion, Gaspar smiles. Then, Yan invites him to join them at a friend's place, but Gaspar declines, stating he needs to repaint his hallway before ending the call. He checks the mysterious phone and receives a message from Dragon, saying they'll meet as planned. He then calls Marion, who tells him to read the other messages. They learn that Dragon loves Sam and that she wants to meet Dragon on Black Hole, as well as another message sent today, to meet tomorrow at the chapel. Marion says she's free tomorrow, implying she wants to spy on them. After their call, Gaspar looks up what Black Hole is. The next day at the chapel, Gaspar explains to Marion that Black Hole is an online game, and Sam arrives. She goes to the front of the church, and the guy switches seats to be beside her. Sam and Dragon exit the church, and the couple follows them outside. They see that Sam has a dog, and she gets in Dragon's car, prompting the prying couple to follow on a scooter. Dragon stops at a hardware store, and Marion follows him inside. Gaspar observes Sam while his lover calls him to narrate what the strange man is doing inside. Marion exits the store with Dragon close behind, putting his purchase tape and tubes in the trunk. On the road, the couple continue following the two but eventually lose sight of Dragon's car at an abandoned quarry. However, the two had fun playing detective today and make the most out of the trip by enjoying the view and privacy. Surrounded by nature, Gaspar decides to declare his love. However, Marion warns him against saying it if it's not true, so he assures that he would never lie to her. He goes to kiss her, but is distracted by the sound of an animal. They follow it into the woods and see Sam's dog trying to get inside the car. They notice the car's exhaust is redirected back into the car using the plastic tube taped into place, filling the car with carbon monoxide. Alarmed, the couple quickly pulls Sam and Dragon out of the car. Gaspar checks on Dragon, who's already gone, but fortunately, Sam is still alive. Gaspar notices a camera recording the event and pockets it. Suddenly, Marion screams as she sees someone watching them from afar. Gaspar yells if anyone is there, but no one replies. Night falls and emergency services arrive. Marion's dad also arrives and offers Gaspar a ride home, but he declines, saying he has a scooter. Upon arriving home, Gaspar watches the camera recording. In the video, Sam gives Dragon sleeping pills through a kiss. Dragon then professes his love and Sam expresses joy at going to the Black Beach with him. The next day, Gaspar and his friends drop Marion off at the tall gate where she works. She comments on people being either nice or mean, showing that she sees the world in absolutes. Ludo proclaims he's in the nice group, but everyone jokingly begs to differ. After dropping her off, the friends buy painting supplies and help Gaspar carry it upstairs. They remark that Marion is a great person, but they're a little concerned about the group's solidarity now that the two are a couple. Later that day, Gaspar visits a net cafe and a friend shows him how to play Black Hole. Gaspar looks for Sam but doesn't find her, and also learns that dying gets the player sent to purgatory after stumbling upon a player who ends his character. Afterward, Gaspar picks up his girlfriend after her shift and invites her to sleep over at his place. Marion knows her dad won't allow her, but she tries asking anyway. Things go worse than expected, and she's told to go home. Gaspar brings her home, and Marion's dad comes out to talk to him. He waves Marion away to lecture her boyfriend on the duties of a father, alarmed at his invitation to sleep over. The father goes on to say how fond Marion is of him, but she's more fragile than she looks, and Gaspard's youth can cause her great suffering. When Marion's father turns away, Gaspar silently mocks him in defiance. That night, Gaspar watches the eerie footage again and seems infatuated with the woman in the video. The following day, the trio of friends are painting the hallway when Ludo is summoned by Samus. They drive to an apartment, and though the others are reluctant to accompany Ludo inside, the two give in. They go up to the room and Ludo talks to Samus. Samus shoes a dog on his chair, and Gaspar recognizes it as Sam's. While Ludo is busy, Gaspar asks to use the toilet, but looks around instead. He sees Sam with a heaven tattoo putting on clothes, and he averts his gaze when she catches him. 
She doesn't mind him watching though, and after quick introductions, Gaspar reveals himself as the one who saved her. Sam disregards this and instead invites him to her room and closes the door. Inside, she wants him to listen to the most beautiful song ever. He's apprehensive, but eventually sits on the bed beside her. She puts the headphones on him and says it sounds better with closed eyes, so Gaspar listens while she stares at him. Knowing that he was looking at her heaven tattoo, Sam lets him touch it. She then asks if he can keep a secret and whispers if he knows about the black hole. Suddenly, Samus opens the door, looking for Gaspar. Sam snaps at him to knock and Samus makes way for Vincent, her brother. Sam says they were just listening to music and Vincent takes Gaspar outside to explain that she isn't well, having recently come back from the hospital. While they talk, his gang are watching them menacingly from the end of the hallway. Vincent rudely dismisses Gaspar and on the elevator ride down, Gaspar tells his friends that Sam was the girl he saved, though all Ludo cares about is her beauty. Upon reaching home, Gaspar creates his black hole avatar, customizing facial features and voice and naming him Gordon. Then, the game begins with Gordon standing on a rooftop. As he explores the game world, an avatar offers him clothes, a job, and money, all of which Gordon declines. The man tells him he can meet people by selling pets. Only then does he accept, thinking the job might help in finding Sam. Afterward, Gordon is given a cart of pets to sell. A couple buys one from them and as they walk away, Gordon notices the same heaven tattoo on the woman. He asks her if she's Sam, but the woman replies she's not. However, the couple points to him the building called Heaven, where the members have the same tattoo. He runs over to it, but can't enter because he needs a member card. In reality, Ludo calls Gaspar and invites him to a party. He seems uninterested, but upon learning Sam is there, he leaves immediately. Upon Gaspar's arrival, Yan rushes towards him, complaining that these people are crazy. They're playing bullfighting but with a car, and Vincent is driving with Sam riding shotgun. He invites Gaspar to join in, but he's not interested. Ludo interrupts them, saying he wants another try, and Sam lets him. Ludo is adamant that he's not dodging, provoking Vincent to avoid him. Gaspar wants to stop them, but Vincent insists he ride in the passenger seat because he has something to say. Sam moves to the back and Gaspar gets in, then the car gets into position. At the starting point, Vincent orders Sam to kiss Gaspar and thank him for saving her. She seems disinclined to do so, but eventually complies. Vincent also talks about a video camera inside Dragon's car and asks Gaspar about it. Gaspar feigns ignorance, so Vincent drops the subject. Then, Vincent starts driving and accelerates straight into Ludo even though he claimed he wouldn't dodge. Fortunately, Ludo dodged at the last second. Seeing his friend almost die, Gaspar gets furious. Vincent, feeling the tension, declares the party over. As they drive off, Sam and Gaspar's eyes meet. In Black Hole, Gordon is staking out Heaven's door. When a patron leaves, he chases him into an alley where the man becomes suspicious and starts a fight. Gordon wins easily and takes the man's member card. With a card in hand, Gordon enters heaven. The elevator exits onto a dark mezzanine, and he spots a performer below singing Save the Last Dance for Me with the tattoo in the same spot as Sam's. Gordon heads backstage as she finishes, where he sees her entering a room. He follows her inside and is met with a gun pointed at him. He asks if she's Sam, and she confirms. Gordon introduces himself as Dragon's friend, claiming they lost contact after Dragon mentioned he wanted to die with her, so Sam informs him of the man's death. As Gordon is talking with Sam in Black Hole, Marion calls Gaspar in reality, asking if she can come over. Gaspar juggles both conversations, and in the end, Sam invites him back to heaven at midnight, whereas Sam will be arriving soon. Shortly after, Marion arrives while Gaspar is painting, and she initiates a kiss but stops midway. She then calls her dad, lying that she's staying over at Ingrid's house and she'll be back tomorrow. After the call, she expresses her desire to do something her father would not approve of. Later that night, Gaspar wakes up in time to meet with Sam. In Black Hole, Gordon waits backstage and after Sam's performance, she tells him about Black Beach, another name for purgatory. She invites him there, then abruptly shoots herself and Gordon quickly follows. They are transported to Black Beach, where Sam expresses her regret for not dying with the dragon. She then talks about Gaspar, angry that he saved her and believes he's in love with her. However, she's not interested in him because he's too naive. She vows to die on her next attempt, surprising Gordon that she's going to try again. She then asks him for a test, a task for her to accomplish in reality. Shrewdly, Gordon gives her the task of sleeping with Gaspar, and Sam agrees. When Gordon mentions his marriage, Sam tasks him to hurt his wife. They end the conversation by going for a swim. The following morning, Gaspar is washing Marion's hair and suggests taking her brother to the beach. The doorbell rings and Gaspar goes to open it. To his surprise, it's Sam inviting him to go swimming. He declines, but before leaving, she tells him where to go in case his mind changes. 
Marion asks who it was and Gaspar lies, saying it was just his neighbor. Later at the beach, Gaspar asks his girlfriend how she would hurt someone she loved, which puzzles her. She responds that she would never hurt anyone she loves. Wanting to be liked by Sam, Gaspar is trying his best to be the opposite of naive and unknowingly projects his negative feelings onto Marion. Gaspar tells her that being too naive is her problem and leaves her hurt and confused. Then, Marion hugs her little brother tightly, enough to hurt him. Gaspar makes his way to Sam, however he's disappointed to hear other people around. Eventually, he spots Sam on a rock and she's pleased that he came. Yan asks about Marion and Gaspar curtly tells him that she's with her brother. That night, Sam incites them to trespass an unoccupied house. After swimming in the pool, they break inside the house where Sam gives them a performance. She refuses Gaspar's advances but lets Ludo kiss her and leads him somewhere private, making Gaspar jealous. Later, Gaspar wakes up and looks for Sam, finding her in a bathtub. He joins her and she moves in as if to kiss him but instead passes him some medicinal smoke. Shortly, Gaspar wakes up still in the tub and panics upon seeing his wounded wrists. Suddenly, Gaspar jolts awake, realizes it was a dream and hurries home, leaving his friends. He arrives to see his door ajar and inside is Vincent watching Sam's video. He demands Vincent to get out but the unexpected guest ignores him and asks if he slept with Sam. Gaspar responds that it's none of Vincent's business but he insists that making sure his sister doesn't get hurt is his business. Vincent tells the story of Sam becoming interested in talking to depressed people online and how he started talking to them too after finding out. He then recounts an incident where he convinced a person to jump in front of a train and the person thanked him. He explains that many people want to die but need a little push to do so. The person in the woods that Marion saw at the quarry reveals to be Vincent. Shortly, the unexpected guest takes the camera and leaves. In Black Hole, Gordon sees Sam and gets her attention. They move to the rooftop where Gordon admits to being Gaspar. He then asks if she knew her brother was at the quarry that day. She admits to knowing he was there and the camera was her idea, as a souvenir for Vincent. Gaspar asserts that Vincent finds entertainment watching people die and she must report him to the police. Sam says she can't because without her brother, she'll be lost. However, she acknowledges Vincent's actions and wants to end things by wasting herself instead. Gaspar wants to talk to her face to face, so she invites him to her apartment, saying Vincent is out of town along with everyone else. Gaspar says he's coming and Sam goes in for a kiss. In reality, Vincent turns off the laptop he's using to control Sam's avatar. He goes to Sam at the balcony, inviting her to get ready for their next target, Gordon, a name that she isn't familiar with. Vincent leads her to the couch, where he delicately applies makeup on her. On the other hand, Gaspar is about to leave until Yan greets him and mentions he was just with Marion, who is worried about her boyfriend. He remarks that Gaspar's taking Marion for granted and Ludo only talks about women, lamenting that their group is falling apart. Yan urges him to see Marion, but he chooses to go to Sam instead. Yan protests, saying Marion is better than Sam, but Gaspar is determined to go, so the upset friend asks for his scooter back and rides off with it. Undeterred, Gaspar uses his bike instead. Sam's apartment is in total darkness when Gaspar arrives, where he finds the woman on the bed, blindfolded. He sits beside her and begins to take off the blindfold, but she stops him, telling him to hug her tight. Gaspar says her name and Sam is surprised to hear his voice, removing the blindfold herself. He asks what's wrong and although her face is troubled, she denies that anything is wrong. They kiss and Sam, tearful, whispers that she doesn't want him to die. This alarms Gaspar and he finally notices a camera behind them. Gaspar goes to the camera and when he does, Vincent appears from the shadows and hits him. Gaspar falls and the angered man questions his intentions. According to Vincent, the reason why the gullible man is there is because he wants to die with Sam, just like the others. Vincent drags the now restrained and struggling Gaspar to the rooftop while Sam watches. Just as Gaspar is to be pushed off the building, Sam shouts and Vincent sees her standing on the opposite ledge. Sam declares that she's going to Black Beach. Her brother tries to stop her, saying Black Beach doesn't exist, but Sam is convinced that it does. She turns around and jumps off without hesitation. Vincent looks over the edge to see her lifeless body and heads downstairs in despair. The following morning, Marion is at the police station after her father got a call that Gaspar is in trouble. While sitting in the waiting room, she sees Sam's dog in the hallway and walks to it. There, a disembodied voice is singing, Save the Last Dance for Me. Passing through the hallway, she sees Vincent in one room and Gaspar in another. He blurts that he wasn't lying when he told her he loved her. He may have ruined everything, but he wasn't lying that day. Gaspar breaks down, realizing the truth of what Marion's father said. Marion hugs him as he cries, with her naivety allowing her to forgive him despite the pain it will cause. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.